One of the things I love about the new, some of the new updates, in fact I think this is an update quite a while ago, but when I go into here I can actually rename all of the cargo boxes. When I had a new, when I enter, when I put a new cargo box down or a new item it came under un, ungrouped and I thought that I had to auto group them all over again which actually reset all the names and it was so frustrating but you don't actually have to do that, all you have to do is add to group. So if I wanted to do this I could add it to a different group and all the groups are here. But when I when I'm parked when I've parked my small vessel out there and I want to get some things, I want to get some supplies. All I have to do is hop out and be standing on my base, press P, which is my control panel um, key binding, and I can access anything in the base, which is really helpful for this base because it's so big. All my cargo boxes are down here, and all my vessels are over there. <laughs> G'day this is Shay and welcome back to an episode of Imperian Galactic Survival. I feel like taking out the drone base today. I just thought hey, I know we've done this before but we're gonna do it again. And take out a couple of other bases while we're at it. I probably won't show too much on camera but you get to see some of the action. I think that's the main thing. The action is the most important, isn't it? Oh, here we go. There's this one over here. You're still alive. I know you are. What are you exactly? You are a radar. I'm here. If you're a radar, you can probably see me, right? Right. Now, there's a drone over there. What have I got that shoots far? Sniper. Can I get you? Whoa. Oh, man. Already? Already? Jeez. Where are you? I can't see. Is that it there? I don't know if I can actually get that. I don't think I'm getting it. Okay, what else have I got that fires a long way? 160 meters, 222, 22, no. 267. Okay, the laser rifle goes pretty far. What else have we got? We've got plasma cannon, pulse rifle. None of these really go that far. I don't even know if... This is that far away. It could be further. Okay, can I get you maybe? Nearly. Oh. Hello bird. Hello. I won't get you. It won't waste my um, stuff on that. I could probably go down there. That's probably a little bit closer. Let's make a run for it guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, there it is. There's a couple. There's one on one side and one on the other. They were just hiding from me. Oh my goodness. Look how low my health is. I'll take one of these and one of these. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Let's take one of these. I'm glad I've got a lot of health packs. <laughs> you know, Space Girl needs lots of health packs. <laughs> Okay, so they're waiting for me. Oops, let's see if we can just get up here. Can I get that? Probably not. That's a, that's a very, very um, short range weapon. Can I get anything here? No, I don't think I am. Ah! Come on! Give it to me. Hmm. 
it should be able to get it because this is 231 meters away and I can shoot 267 so why is this not getting anything okay so not even not even the plasma cannon apparently even though it looks like it is isn't reaching it hmm okay we need a plan B don't we oh oh you can see me Dear, I'm in the hole. Please don't put me close to the to the. Please don't put me close to the thing. <laughs> please put me over the hill. That would be really good. I'm probably gonna be like right next to that thing. That would be really bad. Okay, current location. Holy cow! Right next to it. That's good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, look at all those planets. Can you see them? They're all aligned. The planets are aligned. That's kind of giving away my little secret. I've got a secret, which you might like, but that's for another episode. I'm not doing it today. Here we go. Where's my dead buddy? Here we go. So. Death, guys. You know what? I was actually thinking it's about time I died. It's about time I died. You got me. You got to see me die. <laughs> Yeah, no. So the next thing I was going to do is take my plane over there. Now, I don't have the same plane that I took out these ones with. Mostly because it actually takes a lot of power and I don't have much Promethium left. So we're stuck with this one, which is, oh, did I, oh, I don't have any ammo left. Oh my goodness, worst thing ever to realize is that there's no ammo. So I've decided that a plasma cannon and a pulse laser are probably other things to go with on the small crafts that I have. Now that I've got quite a lot of Ziscosium in a restroom, I mean that stuff I've just got from looting those bases. I haven't even been to a planet where there's a restroom in Ziscosium. I feel super lucky. If you're following my other channels, or my other, not my other channels, my other series, Ziz, where I started on Nakua, they were really hard to come by. So I am stepping up to the next level, I think. Omicron's now made that much harder so there are some rewards which is great. Um, I've actually added a whole bunch of vessels, no, uh, what map? You can't really see very well actually, not from the map. I've actually added a whole lot of vessels. Um, let's see, I've I've named a couple of them too. There's Baratheon and there's Lannister. Those are the two little small vessels I had out there which um, Baratheon is the one I use, just used to go out to try and take down um, the, what was it, the Xenu base, I can't remember which one it was. And I just named them after Game of Thrones characters because I'm actually watching Game of Thrones at the moment from the beginning, from series one, and I'm just about to watch the bit where um, Ned uh, Stark gets um, executed. It's very sad, but it's only episode one, um, series one, and it's amazing if you watch Game of Thrones, sorry if you don't how much happens in the first half of the first series like they really packed in a lot of stuff like heaps of stuff so it kind of makes you wonder what happened for the second third fourth and fourth and fifth series like you know <laughs> obviously a lot happened but it's like just all the things that you remember about game of thrones which is so special kind of other things that have happened already in the first couple of episodes anyway away from that because i'm sure there are people watching this that don't give a flying fox about um game of thrones <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows among many this is where we were just now with the xeno radar and i was trying to get them by coming over the mountains but for some reason i was too far away for my wasn't the plasma cannon i think it was the laser rifle because the effective range is 267 meters and it looked like it should have been able to hit the um the turrets but they didn't so i don't know what's going on there um, the drone base, is that the drone base? No, the drone base, I think was the other direction actually. Abandoned factory, drone base. The abandoned factory needs to be done. And it's abandoned, so it doesn't actually get, you know, I'm not going to be um, killed by turrets. But things from the drone, drones from the drone base will be coming over. And because I haven't taken the drone base out, they will be um, spawning there and coming over. So any small vessels I leave out here will just get annihilated by whatever comes out of there. But the uh, drone dropship 
thingy, whatever it is, won't be coming. So anything that's already here spawned will probably stay there. Like I've just taken out the last drone over here. I think that was the last drone of the Xenu Raider. But the drop ship, the drone ship won't be coming over anymore to drop off anything else. So I'm pretty safe. Here, however, they can just keep spawning from the drone base. So I'm going to have to take the drone base out first. Luckily, this is kind of surrounded by mountains so I might be able to get to them by doing that. Look there's a big Promethium deposit right there. Um, I do need more Promethium. So while we're over here trying to take out this other place I mentioned when we looked up the radar we looked up at the sky there was like a heap of balls in the sky. I said oh look all the planets are aligned. There is actually a reason for that. We're not in your usual Empyrean universe. Okay and I'm gonna tell you why. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? We have got a lot of planets to explore. This is what's making my series so special because I've had access to somebody who is actually working at making bigger universes for Empyrean and this is what is so exciting. Oh my god. Okay, so I won't give too much away, but we're on Omicron and Akua is we haven't even been there. There's a trading outpost here. Ningwiz is over here. What have we got? We've got Skillion. Estus, Asteroid Field, we've got an Alien Outpost, we've got a what? Aetis, <laughs> say, fine, say Heinz, and Masperin. And they're all sorts of different types of planets. Like some have got oceans on them, some have got lava, some are really, really scary. They've got all sorts of things that we haven't seen yet. But these star ones are different ones that have been created by somebody who isn't a developer on the Empyrean team. They do it for their own in their own spare time, which is amazing. Um I will talk about that person more when we start on our adventure to one of those planets. This is Ovis, and we've got Lumia, and Viridus, and I know nothing about them. Volca, Myos. Volca is going to be the first one we go to, and that's actually closer than most of these other planets. If we want to go to one out here, like Carl, it's 4.2, so we actually need a lot of blue crystals to get there, or planet hop on our way to get there. And you don't know when you're going to some of these places whether or not they've got blue crystals in stock. So I'm going to have to go probably to the moon and collect a lot of these blue crystals so that we have enough fuel because we don't want to get stuck. Also, my the blueprints that I've made, I've created this, uh, I've called it the Millennium Fox because like, you know, Star Wars, Millennium Falcon, I'm really uncreative <laughs> with names right now. I just I kind of can't think of anything. This has living quarters on it. It has a big space on the top of it. Let me see if I can find the other picture of it. So like this is the front of it, believe it or not. It's actually changed quite a bit on the front. It doesn't look like that anymore, but on the top it's quite flat. So I can actually fit two or three small vessels on the top. Um, which is perfect because you need small vessels. On the inside there's lots of living quarters and storage space and things like that. So that's the kind of vessel that I would like to take to other planets. Anyway, enough talking! You guys want to see action! You don't want to hear me talking! Oh my god! Because <laughs> talking's boring! There we go! There we go guys! Are we going to start this now? Next episode? It's going to take an hour. <laughs> That's alright. We still have things to do, so um, I'm gonna, we're going to get on to that. We are going to see if we can do the drone base um, so that we can attack the, uh, the abandoned factory. That's coming into daylight, coming out of daylight, I don't know, I don't know. Welcome back. We have a drone base. A drone and clouds in my face. Get out of the way clouds. You're not wanted. I think I think that's the drone base. Yes, because there's a drone just there. There's a drone just there. Now trying out my new weapons just to see which one's which. This is the good one. That's the rail gun. Not as easy. Oh, there's like three three drones just there. This one, uh, that's the pulse laser. Oh. And I can't, I can't aim for shit. Sorry, I can't aim for anything. There we go, got him. Okay, and what's this one? This one is a plasma cannon. It's so exciting to have these weapons, finally. You know what I mean? Now, when are things going to start shooting at me? That's what I want to know. Oh my gosh, look at that huge one there. Kind of want to find where the turrets are. Where are you? 
there you are. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong key, wrong key. No, not that one. Did that go down? <gasps> uh, there was like so many of them coming towards me. Okay, I'm in a really tiny ship too, by the way. Not in one that is probably designed for fighting, but it was small and easy to drive and would probably, and I just put some big ass weapons on it, like plasma cannon, pulse laser, ooh, and a railgun. So, for one thing, I'm a little bit better at driving um, uh, small vessels than I was when I first started playing this game, that's for sure. Remember those days, guys? Remember those days? Oh my gosh. Okay. Where the heck are we? Oh, here we go. Hello, you. What have I got over here? Let's go around here for a minute. There's lots of drones spawning over there. Once we take out this drone base, we're pretty much set. Oh, gosh. I feel like the driving on this ship is a bit weird. It might be because I've lost a thruster or two. Oh, 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 down, 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 down. <laughs> okay, so I know I can see where some of them are. Let's see if we can... Ah, my controls are all weird. Okay. But they're not shooting at me right now, so that's a good thing. Nope, oh, I'm supposed to go down. There we go. Oops, down, 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 down. <laughs> Get down, get down, get down. I could probably get out of here and start shooting with my normal weapons, but I've just loaded this small vessel up with really good weapons, so yeah, I want to see how they go. I want to see how they work. Let's see if I can take this one out. Oh, okay. Let's change to this one. No, not that one. Let's just do the rail guns. even get in here why why couldn't I even get in there okay that's freaky why could I not even did, did they take out everything god okay, I'm stuck here now that's cool absolutely stuck oh god I better get out of here. I've got like a heap of them on me and I'm going under the water. Uh, okay, they can't get me under here, I don't think. I don't think they can get me under here, okay. Whew. 
let's just uh yeah well, they might be able to i don't know um eat health oh my god i forgot my health oh my gosh i forgot to fill up on health i put all my health things back and didn't get any of them back brilliant okay so my health is not going to return any more than it is so that's a bit of a problem i can't believe i did that that is the worst thing to do ever can i shoot them through the water <laughs> i don't think i can <laughs> um yeah what i did is i put everything back and then got everything out again as i was because i was doing some other sort of things around the base while it was becoming daytime or while i was writing waiting for the right time i ended up going off and getting some promethium but i forgot to get the health okay let's have a look at the map uh we can always run in that direction but i don't have any um stamina stuff on me so there's a base there and then i know that my home is just there so we're not too far away so really this is a, a failed mission if i can't get my oh there's some more seaweed if I can't, if I don't have any health, there's no point in attacking this base because I'm just going to die. Um, so I'd prefer to run back and get some stuff and then return here, probably either on foot or with another another ship. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the ammo that I had on board that ship, so uh, we just got to lay low for a bit. far away now okay got that one did I say we were going back <laughs> I think I said we were going back oh <gasps> got him and this one ah really come on come on come on come on Okay, are there any more drones around? I think there's one more that's flying. Um, where's my pointer thingy? And then this. Oh, really? Oh, crap. There's one right there. Okay. I'm like right there. It's not even hitting me or anything. I must be too well hidden. Am I hitting it or not? Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here. Stupid game. Is it like not working or something or what? Oh my god what's going on i don't know what's going on there's two of them right there oh. effective range is only at 222 meters nothing less nothing more I can't believe that they're not trying to get me. What is this? You're making it too easy. I'm not on easy. I'm on medium. Normal. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to get shot any second in the moment. Hang on. There's one just there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew there was one. Why did that one shoot me and the other ones didn't? Hmm? Why? Did I get it? No. I didn't just get it. No, I didn't. No, that's it there.
Okay, we've got them. I think we've got everything. There might be one on the other side. But now I don't I don't have any health. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have any stamina. I don't have anything. And I'm almost about to die. So kudos to me, guys. We managed to get rid of the drones, though. So that's one thing. But they're still going to spawn unless I can bring down the actual base. My plane is still here. I can't fly it. I can't even see what's in it. It won't let me. I think the core is actually gone. So that's a bit of an issue. So if I get in here and go pee, I can't. Nothing. And I'm going to die in a minute. So let me just take some food because that, that gives me like 10 health. And that's better than nothing. Hang on. What does that give me? 10 health still. Um, anything else? Nothing. Okay. Well, I feel like this will be the end of the episode because well, I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's going to take me ages to get back home. Um, it would be great to get everything out of here, but I'm not going to because I don't have that much... One, I don't have that much space. And two, I really need to get out of here and get back to somewhere where I can have some health. Because I did the most stupid thing ever, and that was that I forgot to get health packs. I could go in and kill some talons, but I don't think that they're going to, like... <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be... A stupid thing to do basically so let's get out of here over the hill oh my goodness this is gonna be terrible because I'll probably be no it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing positive thinking we're gonna get home and everything is gonna be awesome yep can you see the tumbleweeds <laughs> what the feck was I thinking I'm sorry I just am so angry at myself right now I'm about to die I've got no health I've got no plane I'm right next to the drone base. There's something behind me. What is that? I think it's the abandoned factory. And there's a drone guarding it because it, they're kind of aware that I'm on my way, I guess. And I don't know, but there's probably another turret on the other side of the, of the drone base that I haven't got yet. So I'm screwed. Totally screwed. So I have something to ask you guys. I want to know, do you reckon that I should try and take out the things on this planet and the moon before going to another planet or should I just go ahead and explore I really love the idea of exploring like that totally like tickles my fancy but I also kind of want to you know finish off what needs to be done on this planet and the other planets um Omicron that is and sorry Omicron Akua and the moons but I want to go exploring so let me know down in the comments do you want to see me going exploring to the other planets or shall I finish off Omicron and the moon first We'll see you in the next episode, guys. Ciao, ciao.